Hello there, Calvin Jones here, Stillwater Area High School Mountain Bike Team. We're going to review in this video uh, a checklist that helps us get familiar with the bike. This is something we have as a support uh, PDF on our website, stillwatermtb.com. We want to be, uh, become comfortable uh, checking our bike over on a regular basis. This will give us an idea of when there are issues. Uh, we're not going to discuss in detail actually fixing the bike. We're going to talk about uh, binding, binding problems. The first few items we're going to look at are actually our personal items, our helmets and our gear. Uh, take a look at your helmet. The straps may move. We want to make sure the, the straps are, are positioned correctly. Check for any cracking, if anything is split. Second thing we're going to look at is our, our shoes. Are there tennis shoes or a cleated shoe? Is there cracking? If the laces are too long, they need to be trimmed. This is a Velcro system. Is the Velcro st still adhering well? So the shoes should be considered part of the bike. It's part of the drivetrain that makes us move. We're going to begin our check from the front of the bike, going to the rear of the bike, to see that uh, we're consistent and things are checked over. First, we begin with the tire. We're going to put our thumbs, thumbs in the, the middle, uh, join the thumbs together and push, push hard. This gives you a baseline of, of pressure, a feeling for uh, when you have slow leaks. Um, so get, get a sense, a, a sense of uh, how much pressure your tire has. We also look at the tread. When tread is starting to wear down, become dull and rounded, uh, it's getting time for a new tire. We also want to spin that wheel. Uh, if we're getting significant run out or lateral movement called wobble, uh, side to side, if we're hitting the, the rims, uh, the rim pads, uh, that's an issue. We want to check the security of our skewers. It should pull outward and push back. This should be very tight. Uh, the skewers should be on our bike tight. They hold our wheel on. Uh, then grab the top of the wheel and grab the fork. Pull side to side. We're checking for bearing play in here. There should be no knocking or rocking uh, in the, the rim from the uh, from a loose hub. We're now going to move up the bike to the cockpit area and the headset. Uh, so we're going to begin with begin with the headset. Uh, find a hard surface, bounce the bike around with force, and listen for an excess rattle like we have here. Uh, potentially a loose headset. Grab the front brake and rock back and forth. Feeling for knocking, um, confirm that it is the headset. Uh, it's also possible the bushings and some shock forks are simply shot, but uh, there should be no knocking or rocking in our, uh, our system up front. Handlebars and stem are next. We want to see that our handlebar is straight and aligned. Also, move in front of the bike, grab the uh, tire between your knees, twist, twist to see is there a motion. You don't want this to turn uh, easily. This should be on uh, on tight. Grab the bars and rotate. Also, grab the levers. Uh, gently push. They should not move. Grab each grip and twist with force. We do not want the grips to be twisting, um, so uh, they should be on on firm. We're moving back to the saddle. Stand behind the bike. See if we're straight. You can see here we are slightly, slightly to the uh, the right, possibly from a crash. Uh, let's get the saddle straight. Grab the front and back of the saddle. Pull up and down, checking for rocking and any any loose bolts. So a twisting check. It should not twist easy. It should not rock up and down. The braking system is checked next. Grab both levers and pull hard. The lever ends should not be hitting the grip without much force. Check front and rear brake this way. Check the cables for any fraying or cutting. Rim brakes that touch the uh, rim of the wheel. You want to check the pad placement. The pad should only be contacting the rim braking surface and not the tire. This bike is a rotor or a disc brake system. Calipers on uh, right near the, the axle. We spin this one, 
we don't want significant rubbage from the pads to the rotor. There sometimes is slight rubbage. Uh, so we don't want um, a lot of drag or rubbage on our, on our caliper. For the rear tire, uh, it's a similar uh, check to the front, checking for uh, patterns of wear, rounded and dull. This is starting to get flattened on top, possibly getting time for a new tire. Thumbs together, push. This tire is much softer compared to the front. Uh, note that possible problem, possible slow leak. Uh, we want to grab the skewer, pull out and shove it back. Again, it should be very tight to, uh, to close. And um, grab the uh, rim, grab the frame, and pull back and forth, checking for bearing play uh, and noting, noting any problems there. Time to look at the drivetrain. Uh, we want to start with the crank set, uh, checking for bearing play, grab the top of the crank, not the pedal, the crank, Pull side to side, checking for, for knocking or, or play. Uh, that prevents a good shift, wears out our bearings more. Uh, we're going to spin the chain ring. We're going to sight from above, look for wobbleness. We do have an issue here. This chain guide uh, should just be removed at this point. Uh, it's going to fall off, probably in a race. Uh, anyway, we put the bike in a stand or we can have a friend hold the bike for us while we spin the pedals uh, and then we check the shifting on the rear derailleur. We want to check all gears. We want to check the two limits. We do not want it to go up into the spokes. This limit screw has a problem if we're going up into the spokes. Uh, that will need to be reset. Also, we check the front. Do we have all the gears we need, but the chain does not fall off? The last item we want to do is look for frame cracks. That can be done during washing. Look where tubes come together, where they're welded or bonded. Any funny lines that have developed. Uh, it may look like a paint crack. Uh, those will need to be ins inspected uh, further. That is our inspection. We do this on a regular basis. Uh, then we know what needs attention and what, uh, what problems can be addressed. Thank you. Check the website, stillwatermtb.com, for your checklist.